One, two, one, two. There we go. Get everything snapping and clapping. Come on, come on, people. Come on, people. All right. Sup, you have for welcome back to my video. Today we are back reacting to some more, uh, you know, scary stories. Now I did get a new audio capture, but that was after the video. So the video you guys are about to watch has bad audio, but it was still good. It's still a good video. I hope you guys really do like it because I put my foot into this one. Had a lot of energy. I was all around the place. Let's go. The video was really good. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite reacting to scary story videos uh in a while but uh you know if you guys are new make sure to like subscribe and uh oh you got the first one i'm reacting to was called never respond to nishi uploaded by snarled Let's get into this. We reacted to her last time. It was pretty good. So we're going to do it again. Let's do this. Did you know these video episodes tell just one? <sighs> ah! Spills continue on the Something Scary podcast. Not Hear the podcast, rest of on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you listen to your podcasts. Hey, I'm Marquia. Want to hear something scary? Yo, I'm gonna tell you this right now. Snarled has like the best soundtrack of like scary telling a story, huh? Never respond. Don't respond, people. You know what happens. The phases you die. of the moon are looked at as signs of renewal and transformations. We know that in the full moon, we should beware the werewolf bite. But did you know <laughs> in some places when the moon? Oh my, okay, I'm gonna calm down. I'm gonna calm down. I know I'm breaking y'all immersion. I'm sorry. <sighs> go start. Back of my chair. Wandering me. entities hunt living vessels. They're looking for a final resting place, and they will get there by any means necessary. There's an old Bengali folktale that offers a warning for those traveling at night on a dark moon. If you suddenly hear someone call your name from the darkness, Never respond. <laughs> for the night spirits roam ready Who to come. Who do you think I was? I'm not Even responding in the city, to nothing. The legend of the Nishi still had a presence. An odd warning that Elena's superstitious parents had instilled in her since childhood. Hey. Nishis were. Listen to your parents when they telling you about something that can go down. You know what I'm saying? Cause some kids, y'all, 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 y'all wanna, y'all wanna disobey your parents, and then that, that's why y'all be getting kidnapped. Were night spirits of the dead. They didn't get proper burial rituals to pass onto the next plane. So they remained trapped in our world to hunt the living at night, as passage out of this realm by the death of another. Embodied as a that night shadow, so whack, they bro. mimic I'm the voices of talking. loved ones to lure the unsuspecting during the dark moon, but they'd only take one victim. On those nights, Parents cautioned their children to not pass through certain areas. The These alley. warnings were very far from Elena's mind on the evening she met up with her friend what Kamala. My... They were attending I feel like, yeah. Turn that up. another friend's party. Since neither of them were old enough to drive, they had to ride their bicycles. Oh, Though they I, usually didn't actually, ride their bikes Riding bikes are pretty dusk. cool, I ain't gonna lie to you. Bro, I be going around the neighborhood riding bikes. The only problem is people be wearing clothes that match their houses, so I just see eyes staring at me. I'd be like, all right, time to go back home. Screw that. They figured sticking to main downtown roads would be safe. But Kamala showed up late. She suggested they take a shortcut through Dhaka Airport Road. No! Elena's bike tire screeched. No way. Let's go! She protested, looking up at the moonless sky. What about the disappearances? Sighing, Kamala said, there's always someone saying, beware the Nishi on, oh, shut up! on Dhaka Airport Road. Haven't you seen the videos that say it's a hoax? It's just our parents trying to scare us, like their parents scared them from biking at night. Begrudgingly, I don't think parents agreed, had bikes. as she knew it would shave I don't think off my parents... 30 minutes. Wait, when was the they bike cut invented? through the bustling traffic to the grimy side street as soon as they entered the industrial alleyway. They'd been down it dozens of times before during the day, but it took an eerie life at night. She kept having the feeling that someone was watching them. As they pedaled through, the I whistle of wind like from Viking gradually got clearer and clearer, as if the sound was whispering to her. Elena, over and over. Do you hear that? Kamala asked, biking beside her. I do, and we gotta get out of here. Elena Turn responded back. as Turn her back. started to sound like her mother's Oh my voice. gosh, I keep... Quickly, 
She began to accelerate, clamping her teeth together as she rode and forcing herself not to answer. She began to recall her parents' warnings about the Nishi. Never respond. Under any circumstances, Nishi, Nishi. never respond. Suddenly, Kamala shouted for her mother. No, Kamala, it's not her. Elena shouted, squinting to try and catch a glimpse of her friend who was right beside her. She immediately knew the Nishi was on their tail. Kamala quickly turned her head back, slowing down with a gasp and jumped off her bike out of Elena's view. The sound of Kamala's empty bicycle crashing against metal grates in the alley. Oh, Fear shot through her. Oh, the my Nishi neck. had grabbed her friend. From the corner of her eye, she thought she saw a darkness leech onto Kamala, dragging her behind the trash container. Horrified, she lost control of her bike and spun out. Thrown to the ground. She took her hands like this, bro. Her friend is garbage, bro. Me personally, I wouldn't take that level of dis- Elena, take my hand, her mother's voice beckoned. As she reached out, darkness whipped oh around Elena's hand like vines, and she looked up to see her mother's face morph into a grotesque oh, entity oh, that pulled her oh no, oh no. the life out of her. Elena struggled, losing consciousness. Elena, from the corner of her that eye, thing she like saw that. Kamala peeking out from behind the trash container, You'll covering start. her mouth, a look of horror in her eyes. Elena struggled to speak her final words, reminding her friend, never respond. This is all your fault. I'ma come back and haunt you, you freak. That's her fault. She got us into this mess. Kill her. Thank you to all of our patrons. While we do run a limited amount of ads, the show would not be possible without our support. If you want to keep these videos coming, please visit patreon.com slash snarled. Oh! You can hear more stories over on the Something Scary podcast. I'm a Available tune in. I'm a tune in. Trust Pod me. Hello, spooky friends. It's Blair Bathory, here to bring you your weekly dose of horror. Daily dose of top 10. Are you guys an excellent reaction to? It's called Reflection Horror Short Film, uploaded by Daydream Pictures. Now, scoot in, people. Have your, have your volume up. Be in the dark. Have someone sneak up on you in the dark. Get the full experience. You just put it back? You're weird, bro. That's okay. I'm, I'm not gonna call you weird for that. Some people have different things. I would just wash off the toothbrush before I put it back in. Yeah, you saw that. Now leave. Now leave. Now leave. Oh my gosh! You saw that, now leave! <laughs> no, sir! No! <laughs> My thing is still. Oh, what the heck? Oh my god! What the heck? Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. You crouch it down? Let me let me take my let my thing like this in case I need to move back, you know what I'm saying? Oh you walking on your towels. Doing all them good. have an idea leave or punch him in the crotch or her you could no ain't, <laughs> ain't discriminate oh my god take it back up take it back Maybe it's maybe it's this right here. <laughs> maybe it's all this right here. But I I I I would have loved.
in that man's palm. Punch him. Punch him. Punch him. <laughs> you gonna wait until this? Oh my God! Yo, yo, that really made me jump for real. That's wild, dude. One, two, one, two. There we go. Why is this audio be crisp and clean, bro? Besides my voice crack. Uh, the next one we're reacting to is called Death by Duper Link Gang. The freak does that say? Duper? Doppelganger. Doppel. Huh? I said Duper Link Gang. Uploaded by Snarled. Hi, Oddings. It's your Ate Sapphire. Sapphire. After this episode, you can hear more stories over on the Something Scary podcast, available for free on Spotify <laughs> or wherever you listen to your favorite shows. The <laughs> links are in the description below. You're just going crazy I'm in Sapphire. the comments. Want to hear something, something scary? scary? Night at the drive through the following tale comes from Megan and is inspired by a real experience she had while working late one night. A real experience? I used to work at a popular fast food chain. Emphasis on the used to. I had my share of wild interactions with customers, people yelling at me, people starting fights in the eating area. But as intense as those times... <laughs> That's why you got these things right here. I knock them over their head, they gone. Nothing was as weird and unexplainable as this one night. The night that made me quit. This particular location was open for 24 hours and I was working the overnight shift. It was just me and my manager, Stacy. Hey, I'm gonna take a nap in the break room. You got things under control, right? I trust you. And with that, I was left alone. I'm gonna go take a nap in the break room. Shut up! Why are you taking a nap in the break room? That's the first question, why? Did I say you could take a break? Behind the counter. I was pretty sleepy myself and decided to make some hot coffee to stay awake. A few minutes uh, uh, later, uh, uh. a man and a woman who appeared to be in their 20s walked in. They were wearing dark colors and lots of layers, almost like they didn't want to attract any attention. Up. Uh, I threw on my best smile. They're going to rob you. Them. Every time you see a couple that look shady, if one of them like if one of them looks shady is you you cool, you cool. They probably just weird. If both of them look shady, they robbing the place. They robbing the place. Welcome. I'll help you when you're ready. They both ignored me, which was pretty standard. They robbing you, bruh? So I didn't take I'm any stop, offense. I'm stop talking. I held my smile in place as I waited for them to decide what to order. But they weren't even looking at the menu. They were sort of glancing around nervously, hands in their pockets. Oh, God. I thought to myself. Please don't rob me. Please don't rob me. Please you, don't rob you me. You signed up for it! I watched their hands and their faces closely. But the longer I stared at them, the less suspicious they became. They were... scared. Is everything okay? The woman turned to me and smiled. Can we mm -hmm. take a nap in the break room? She then, walked over, <laughs> she then walked over to a corner booth. The man stepped up to the counter. Could I get two large coffees, please? Of course. I'm brewing a new batch right now. I can bring it over to you when it's ready. Nobody the asked for all that, Megan. And slid Just into say the yes or no. The woman. Once the coffee was ready, I walked it over to them. As I placed them on the table, a car pulled into the parking lot. I'm not much of a car person, but it looked like it was vintage from the 50s or 60s, maybe. Yo, there's a That's car a in my car, neighborhood. That I got casually that. commented. Is it blue? The man asked me anxiously. Uh, yeah. Instantaneously, the couple slid underneath the table. Oh, I thought they were, <laughs> I thought they were gonna run out like, move! Not here. I was so confused at this point. I'm confused Maybe they too. actually weren't scared at all, but just on a ton of drugs, I don't know. But I went back to the counter to wait for the new customers. But they never came. I heard a car honking loudly outside. I checked our camera feeds. That blue car was waiting in the drive-thru. But we barricaded- Oh, is this a us vibe? You know what I'm saying? The doppelganger- It's called doppelgangers! They're gonna gang up on they doppels! Entrance at night. Did they move it out of the way? 
I was pretty annoyed and was about to go to the intercom to tell them that the drive through is closed and that they needed to come inside, but the man and woman called me over. Whatever you do, you can't let them inside. They've been following us for days now. Oh my god, should I call the police? No, 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 no. They won't be able to help. The people what in that mean? car, uh, there are doppelgangers. I don't understand. And Me we neither. don't expect you to. Look, for whatever reason, the versions of ourselves from another dimension or whatever have found us, and they're trying to replace us. Here. They handed me a... What do you do? What do you do in this situation? What do you do? Huh? You kill yourself. That that sounds that sounds very brutal. But I don't mean it like that. I don't mean you uh, you know what I'm saying? You go up to him. Pop pop pop. You know what I'm saying? Dead. They gone. Splatooey. Splatooey. Gone. Poofoey. Huh? They you have to kill your your other self before he could kill you. Ziploc bag filled with a mysterious substance. It's cold. Whatever they order, Sniff it. put all of that in there. That should get rid of them for a while, long enough for us to get out of here. Oh, they made contingency you guys plans. Are All right, with Batman. Me, right? Cause that's seriously not cool. You don't need to believe us. You just need to follow our instructions, please. I'm not gonna. <laughs> Imagine it's just a couple that looks exactly like them that's going to the same place, and then they just kill them with the powder. Whatever this is in a custom. You just need to follow our instructions, please. I'm not gonna put whatever this is in a customer's food, and I don't even know who you are. Okay. Just, just take their order. If they look exactly like us, put that in their food. If not, then just leave them alone. The blue car was still honking outside. I'm hungry out here! Seeing as I didn't really have much choice, I put the bag in my pocket and walked over to the intercom. I could see there were two people in the car, but the video quality wasn't clear enough to tell if they looked like the couple hiding in the booth. A man's voice ordered two large coffees. I told them to pull up to the window. Wouldn't, wouldn't you know it's I, them by the sound of their voice? Feeling you are so not many on the page as everyone moment. else. You are behind. If they didn't look like the couple, then I just got pranked by a bunch of wackos in my restaurant. So you if just they walked did the look prank. Like the couple, I wasn't prepared for what that meant. The car pulled up, and in the driver's and passenger seats were a man and a woman who looked identical to the other couple. They got white eyes, though. I went to pour their coffees. I took out the bag. <coughs> in. I'm going to regret this, I thought to myself. I handed the altered coffees to the couple in the blue car and watched them drive away. I walked over to the couple in the booth. I poured that powder in their drinks. They're gone now. They and dead now. Don't surprise, they gotta drive? They, they go to sleep while driving. They handed me a $100 bill. And then they left. I had completely forgotten that my boss was asleep this whole time, and I went to the break room to wake her up and tell her about what had happened. Of course she didn't believe me, so she played back the security footage. We see the first couple come in, order their food, and head to the booth. We see the blue car in the drive-thru, me talking with the first couple, and me handing the doppelgangers the spiked drinks. But what we don't see is the car leaving the drive-thru. So we decide to go outside and investigate. At the entrance of the drive-thru, all of the barricades were still up. Same for the exit of the drive-thru. No sign of anyone moving them or driving over them. At this point, my manager was just as freaked out as me. We decided to close early, and I quit the next morning. I think about that night a lot. I keep trying to make sense of it. Maybe they were playing a weird prank on me, and they were two sets of twins? But then how did the car get in and out of the blocked off drive through So do parallel universes really exist? Are people's doppelgangers really trying to replace them? And would I ever run into mine? Want more Something Scary? You can hear four more stories over on the Something Scary podcast. Available for free on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to your favorite shows. The links are in the description below. All I can say is this. If I met a doppelganger myself and he was trying to kill me, 
He up out of there. <laughs> I ain't getting got. He got got by me. He got got by himself, because it's me. <laughs> All right, you guys, the next one reacting to is called Do Not Play Hide and Seek in the Forest Upload. Huh? Uploaded by Wansi Entertainment. Let's like that thing real quick. Here we go, there we go, there we got 7 8, 20. Uh huh, what? This happened a couple of years ago. One night, my mom decided to hang out with her friends at a casino. And my dad was at <laughs> Mom going crazy! So my two older sisters and I were home by ourselves. My sisters were 14 and 15 at the time. And I was 11. After my mom left, it was pretty exciting to be home by ourselves, but an hour later, it got boring. So we decided to play a game. We ended up playing hide and seek. At that point- Let's go, I hide and seek is OG, I ain't gonna lie. That's one of the games that you could just play and, and like, you could just keep playing and playing and, I mean, you can't really keep playing and playing. It's a fun game, it's a fun game. As long as no one gets hurt. Actually, it's a fun game if someone gets hurt. Huh? So if someone if someone doesn't get hurt while playing hide and go seek, you we weren't having a good time. At that point, I was a bit scared because it was 11 p.m., almost midnight. But then I kind of brushed it off since I thought my dad would come home soon. I didn't want to admit that I was scared. Also, I don't want to be home alone, so I decided to play. Let's just play hide and seek in the backyard, I suggested, but she refused. There are no hiding spots back there, let's go to the forest. How about you just play hide and seek in the house? <laughs> After my sister said that, shivers went down my spine. I would have said no. But anyway, we stepped into the forest. That's you walking nearby. out here like they own the place. Go count. My second older sister Me! That I had to be brave. My other sister gave me a blindfold. What is this for? I asked. Put it on and try to find us, my sister said. Bro, L sister. While bro. my sisters used L sister chat, L sister chat. Flashlights to find a place L to sisters. hide. I put the blindfold <laughs> on and then counted to 30. <laughs> when it was time, I said Ready or not, here I come. After Why walking around, the blindfold on, touching you idiot? every tree I walked by, ten minutes had already passed, and I still hadn't found my sisters. Take off the blindfold, Even while you idiot. I was walking on this trail, I could barely see anything, so I tripped on a twig and fell. You an idiot, My clothes bro. got dirty, and my knees started bleeding. Dang, bro. Okay, y'all playing no extreme. Choice. I got up Hide and walked seat. around some more. Scratchy I came kneecaps, across a tree and kneecaps. finally found something. Uh, you it wanna... felt like a person. Oh! Haha, <laughs> found you! No, you found I someone. I then heard my sisters walking by behind me, saying, Hey, how did you not find us yet? Because you put a freaking At blindfold moment, on me! I froze. I took off my blindfold slowly and saw an old man sitting there, smiling at me while holding a knife. Can't I play with the old? He no! Asked. What? Oh, go put on a shirt. Cracking voice. He wore a dirty shirt, and his hair seemed like he didn't shower for a long time. He got a my sisters and I screamed and started hand. running run through now? the forest as quickly as there we go. Could. While running, I looked back and noticed the man <laughs> chasing after us while holding the knife, swinging it in the air. He was laughing like a mad person. I've never felt that kind of fear before. But after running for a while, the old man couldn't keep up. He stopped running, stared at us, and then he turned around and went back into the forest. That man had NPC we got on, closer bro. to our house. That man ran off y'all just to stop and go back. He had to the go driveway. back to his charging place, bro. We ran to him and told him what just happened. He was shocked, so he called the police immediately. There we go. The police went to the forest and they searched those areas. Dang, that's not the police. That's SWAT, bro. A few hours. After that's a while, hope. they found and arrested. Old man. A man. The next day, we learn that the old man killed four female children and dumped their bodies in the woods. All the local news stations were covering the incident. When I heard that, I felt sick to my stomach. 
I am glad that right, what are y'all smiling about? Y'all, that could have been y'all! For the four souls of the children, may they rest in peace. Sis.